Another thought for the day. A little bit disappointed, really. I've been watching a lot of what I would have described as my up and coming uh, quality bloggers here in the Philippines. I don't like to knock people just for the sake of it. But there's a tendency more and more now in the last few weeks. For salacious content. Uh, whether that's required, obviously only the viewer can decide. But I think that focusing on the sexual habits of Filipino women and their techniques and uh, whether or not they do this or do that is not exactly being respectful to Filipino women. I know when you get a group together and they're giggling away with the hosts, it can be amusing in a sense through their naivety. But at the end of the day, are they really doing their own group of people a service? They're almost becoming an online live dating show and I think that that steps over the boundaries of what is good viewing. I mean if you're coming to the Philippines to find a wife do you really need to know what they think about the size of a man? Do you really need to know whether they think this or that about foreigners compared with Filipina? I think not. I don't think you need to have that in mind. By all means, interview if that's your way of presenting your channel. But be careful that you don't step over the limit of decency, I would say. Be inclined to remember that as much as the Filipina may want a foreigner husband. You need to remind these young uh, Filipina that they need to value themselves more than exposing themselves on various blogs. There are a number of blogs that I would have said, having just started watching them, they really have good content. But they're straying away from what is really factual information required to come here to maybe just seeking higher ratings from non-desirable viewers. So I don't want to sound like a stick in the mud because I don't feel I am. But just spend a moment. If you support a channel that does this, that's your opinion. But I'm just disappointed that the, the tone is changing slightly in the blogs that we are seeing coming out of the Philippines. And a lot of these now are being done by Filipinos themselves in the English language. And sometimes they may well feel they have a good understanding of the English language. But it is a little painful watching them struggle with simple sentences. Uh, I take my hat off that they're trying. But you'll never reach the, the level of someone like Filipina P. And she does it in a more tasteful manner. But again, just be careful.